What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I need to address something about water cooling and radiators. Now a lot of people lately have been having problems with say liquid changing color or just problems with their water cooling loop in general and I just want to show you guys how important it is to clean out your radiators before you actually put them into a loop. And right now I'm going to clean out two radiators and you guys are gonna see the type of gunk that comes out of a brand new radiator straight from the factory. And even if these factories say that they do pre-clean them before, I still recommend cleaning them yourself. That way you have the peace of mind knowing that nothing is in there. A bit of distilled water, demineralized water, it's only gonna take a couple more seconds of your day and it will prevent a lot of future problems with your loops if you take these cautions. Hope you all enjoy. So as you can see here, I do have two brand new radiators which I want to test to see if they have anything inside of them. So a lot of factories do not pre-wash before they send it out on the market. So we have two alpha cool radiators here. I'm going to use a clear cup and some distilled water just to shake that around inside the radiators and see what we can get out of there. I'm going to insert some water slowly through one of the ports, making sure that the other ones are nice and closed. I'll do about two tubes of this just to make sure there is enough water in there so I can get it all flowing around nicely through the radiator. Just make sure you leave enough room in there for the water to flow around when you shake it. Now that it's in there, I'm gonna plug up the three ports. I'm just gonna swish it back and forth, shake it side to side, just to remove any loose bits of grit and grime that is within the inside. Pretty simple guys, now I'm going to put in some paper towel so you guys can see what gunk is inside. I'm just using this to funnel out the liquid, but it should catch all of the gunk which comes out. So now that it is empty, I'm going to pull the paper towel out. I'm going to give it a bit of a squeeze to get rid of some of that excess water and show you guys what is actually on the paper towel. So as you can see there, we did have some small bits which were left inside. Now we're going to do the same, but with the other radiator. So I'm putting the paper towel on there just to sift out all of those bits which are left on the inside. And we're gonna pour this straight in, which will catch all of those bits. Pulling it out again and then letting the water drip through so we're just left with whatever was left on the inside. So I don't exactly know what this stuff is that's left on the inside but when I zoom in you can see there are little specks once again on there. I don't know if they're little flaky bits that have come off of the paint or what, but um, obviously I don't think paint's meant to be on the inside, so who knows. So this is just to demonstrate what the importance is of washing your radiators out before you actually create your water cooling loop. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope it was very helpful. Remember to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more PCs, custom PCs, reviews, tutorials, modding tutorials, Anything you can think of, we've got it on the channel. Hopefully you all enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if it was helpful for you. And we'll see you guys in the next video.